Amazon just launched a brand new Fire TV stick, but it's not just another streamer. It's called the Fire TV Stick 4K Select, and this tiny $40 stick marks a major turning point for the entire Fire TV lineup. Now, there's a brand new operating system, a few key limitations, and one big reason this little stick could change how we stream forever. Let's break it all down. Let's start with the basics. The Fire TV Stick 4K Select costs $39.99, putting it right in that sweet spot for budget streamers. It supports 4K Ultra HD playback, HDR10, HDR10+, HLG and Dolby Atmos for immersive sound. It connects directly to your TV's HDMI port, comes with the Alexa voice remote and gives you access to all the major streaming platforms from Prime Video and Netflix to Disney Plus, Apple TV and more. But what really makes this device special isn't the price or the performance. It's what's running under the hood. The Fire TV Stick 4K Select is the first Fire TV device ever that doesn't run on Android. Instead, it's powered by Amazon's brand new Vega OS, built entirely in-house. If you've been following the channel, you knew that this was coming. Now, Vega OS still looks and feels like Fire OS. The same home screen, same menus, but the difference lies in the engine. Now, Amazon rebuilt it from the ground up to be lighter, faster and more efficient. And because Vega OS is custom built, Amazon now controls every single piece of how it performs, updates and integrates with Alexa. Spec-wise, the Fire TV Stick 4K Select uses a quad-core processor paired with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage. Now, that's actually the lowest memory we've ever seen on a Fire TV 4K device. Even some early Fire Sticks had slightly more. There's no Dolby Vision, so if you're chasing top tier HDR quality, this one's not for you. It also runs on Wi-Fi 5, not Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E, and uses Bluetooth 5.0 instead of 5.2. So basically, Amazon's trimmed a few specs to hit that $40 price point. But in return, you get a much leaner system. Because Vega OS is lightweight and locked down, similar to Roku's approach, it should feel snappy and efficient, even with basic hardware. The Fire TV Stick 4K Select officially releases on October 15th and as soon as I have it in my hands, I'll be one of the first to unbox it right here on the channel and break it all down in detail. So make sure you're subscribed, you won't want to miss that one. And if you want to pre-order the Fire TV Stick 4K Select like I already have, you'll find the link down below in the description and pinned comment. Check it out after this video along with the other new devices Amazon just revealed. But there's one major catch and this is where things get controversial. Because Vega OS isn't Android based, you can't sideload apps anymore. Now, yes, the downloader app will still be available from the App Store, but you can't actually use it to install apps or APKs the way you could before. You'll also notice that the option to install from unknown sources has been completely removed. And here's the real shift. Vega OS apps now use a new file format called VPKG, not APKs. So your old Android apps simply won't install. There are some early rumors that developers might still be able to sideload VPKG apps using command line tools, but nothing's confirmed yet. At this point, some are already calling it the Fire TV Stick controlled edition. And honestly, 
that's not far off. It's definitely faster and smoother, but also the most locked down Fire TV stick Amazon's ever made. And here's the thing, that might be permanent for all new Fire TV devices released from this point forward. Existing Fire TV models that still run Fire OS won't be affected, but everything new that's built on Vega OS will follow this more closed approach. So before you upgrade, make sure to watch out for my next video where I'll break down three budget-friendly streaming devices that still allow sideloading. Perfect if you want to stay flexible while keeping costs low. The good news is Vega OS does bring some real benefits. Because Amazon now controls both the hardware and the software, it can deliver faster updates better optimization and longer term support. Performance wise, it's surprisingly smooth for a $40 stick. And with Alexa Plus built in, you can skip to movie scenes, get actor info or search across multiple apps just by asking. The trade-off of course is freedom. No side loading, fewer customization options, and a future that's entirely built around Amazon's ecosystem. So while everyday users will love how easy and seamless it feels, advanced users might want to wait or hold on to their older Fire TV sticks for now. So is the Fire TV Stick 4K Select worth it? If you just want a reliable 4K streaming stick that's fast, affordable and perfectly integrated with Alexa, this one is a great buy. And honestly, at $40, it's hard to complain. But if you're the kind of user who likes experimenting, sideloading or customising your setup, you might want to stick with one of the existing Fire TV models. Or check out those sideload friendly alternatives that I've got coming up next. So what do you think about Amazon's move to Vega OS? Is it a step forward for performance or is it too much control? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you want to pre-order the Fire TV Stick 4K Select or explore Amazon's other new devices, you'll find all the links waiting for you in the description and pinned comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.